Itato, moko sa ibig kasila, moko shima fushi kila adabla sisa sisa sisa. I'm sorry. I apologize for upsetting you, but when you yelled, I went right back to that place that I vowed to never ever go again. Took me to that place where my mama's voice became an old, so familiar ricochet, and I feel small, boxed in, closed up, trying so hard not to fall, to fail. Birthed by Africans turned American citizens, my whole life has been a hell. Mary, with these two cultural identities I carry, my mom and papa show their love through necessities. And sometimes that really gets the best of me. Oh, you're so lucky to have both of your parents in your life. Oh, really? So why am I searching for paternal love so desperately? Battling demons on my own because we African, we don't believe in therapy. And I swear I wish we were more open to it because I needed one before I needed one. And I wish I didn't need one before I started seeing one because it's things like... Mental health in an African household, that's rarely ever talked about. If you're depressed, they call you lazy and assume that's going to sort it out. And if you're sad and start crying, they respond, I'll give you something to actually cry about. As if tears are only required when you get beat, but they don't notice the days when you're low and the only sign you hear is your heartbeat. You've been strong for too long, you're thinking about defeat. Wonder if I was gone, would they finally miss me? Love me for who I am and not who they want me to be. Appreciating the child right in front of you instead of comparing to other families. The lack of compassion left me. Looking for love in all the wrong places. Like looking for mother figures in my teachers and father figures in my coaches. Drowning in my own tears, but y'all have yet to notice. No one talks about the identity crisis children or immigrant parents go through. Those days you're all alone, you just need someone to hold you. We try to do everything right, try to do what we're supposed to, but at the end of the day, we're still human. And we're not perfect. We go through pain, but we hide our scars because our parents can't see us hurting. Tell us heinous things and never once do they apologize. I swear, even when he lost his mother, I ain't never see my father cry. To this day, I still replay the time my mom told me to end it all. I know she didn't mean it, but it's not a second that goes by that I wish that I was dreaming. Constantly in denial because I don't want to believe it. But she told me this when I was 12 and again when I was 19 in some days. I want to show her, be careful what you ask for because you just might receive it. And I sit and I think about this pain and some days I don't know if it will ever be the same. People walk out of my life and I let them leave. Not sure if y'all are the ones to blame. Still feel like that little kid who was waiting for the rainbow after the rain. Waiting for mommy and daddy to show me love in a different way. For y'all to focus less on your actions and more of what y'all say. Because sticks and stones never broke these bones. But your words, they hurt forever. And I'm hoping one day as a family, we can heal together. <laughs>